Hello everybody, this is Doll Dazzler and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to do another opening of a, it's, it's kind of like a doll, but um, it's actually going to be a unicorn. And this is by Poopsie. Um, it's the surprise unicorn and uh, a little while ago I had done a video on um, the uh, rainbow surprise doll and I saw this doll at the same time and I thought um, I'm gonna get this one too and I'm gonna do um, a doll opening for the unicorn as well so um, I don't know what drew me to this because I usually don't get into like um, uh, like the animal doll type of thing, but, um, I know in the, um, in the past, like, uh, some of the vintage dolls, um, there's been like, uh, I think it's Patina Poodle and, um, I'm trying to think of some other vintage dolls that were more, um, on the animal side. I got to thinking, well, you know, this is awfully a pop this is a popular thing. Unicorns are very, very popular now. So is um slime and so is the <laughs> unfortunately, so is the pooping function. So I thought, well, this probably will be a collectible since it was it's kind of packaged in the same way as that rainbow uh surprise doll. And it is by the same company, Poopsie, and so this is this is a big up and coming thing um, as far as uh, there's a lot of it and the surprise thing is also very very big so um, I decided I was gonna get this this uh, unicorn and do the opening of this one as well so I will be adding this unicorn to my doll collection so I'm gonna call it a doll and in this one just like the rainbow surprise this has 20 plus magic surprises inside and then on the back, oh, on this corner here, it says Magically Poops Slime. So <laughs> this is very interesting. <laughs> I thought it, it's, it's very amusing to me. I thought it was very, very funny. So um, back here on the back, it says Unicorn Really Poops. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to do a video on that or not. But um, since it has the slime in it, I am going to do the Rainbow Surprise doll. Um, you could add slime to her clothes. So I might do a video on this. I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna see um, just how cute this unicorn is and then I'll decide after that. So you, number one, you feed the unicorn. And then the number two, it magically poops slime. And then number three, add magic and it changes color. Okay, anyway. So you can collect them all. So I could get Dazzle Darling, I could get Rainbow Bright Star, I could get Oopsie Starlight, and I could get a Whoopsie Doodle. <laughs> I think just from the names, I like the Whoopsie Doodle, <laughs> so I think I'm kind of hoping for a Whoopsie Doodle. I don't know, um, uh, so in on the front side it has, the pink one was uh, Oopsie Starlight, and then um, this other one was, it looks like Dazzle Darling. No, wait, Rainbow Bright Star. So it could be Rainbow Bright Star or Oopsie Starlight. So out of those two, I'm hoping for Oopsie Starlight. But like the Rainbow Surprise, I did not get the, um, the one that I wanted. But um, uh, I had mentioned in um, that video as well um, that there should be a way to be able to tell which one that you are getting. And it's probably from the barcode. And so if anybody out there knows how to tell which uh, unicorn you would be able to get in a, in a different box so that, that you don't rebuy the same one, please leave that in the comments for me because if this is cute enough, I might try to collect them all because they're probably going to be very collectible. Um, also with the Rainbow Surprise doll. So anyway, so I'm going to open this now and we're going to see what these 20 plus magic surprises are. So this is by Poopsie, but this is also labeled as MGA Entertainment. And I've neglected to say that in my um, other video. 
um, for the Rainbow Surprise Doll um, that she is also made by Poopsie. All right, so this time I have scissors. Scissors come in a lot handier than the um, Zacto blade that I was using. So this outer part, just like the other doll, is just it's just plastic. And I had mentioned that um, when I do open a doll, that I like to try to salvage. Oops, sorry. Um, I like to salvage part of the box. But this is not. If this is anything like the Rainbow Surprise doll. You're not going to be able to salvage the box because all the surprises are wrapped around it. So, I'm just going to take off this outer plastic edge. And so right here is the little tab that says to pull there. Oh, there it is. So now, um, this one, does it have the... It does. And I kind of like it to be on that serrated edge. I know kids probably wouldn't wouldn't do that. They'd just tear it so they could get it uh, open. But um, because I want to um, be able to get the prizes out or the see the surprises out, um, I'm going to be a little bit careful with that serrated edge. Okay. So now I'll get the tape off of there. And I'm going to pull this part off. Oh, I can already tell. This is going to be a cute box. So the other one uh, for the doll, the um, Rainbow Surprise doll, it also had a very cute box. It had a, um, it had a unicorn on it. So I'm going to try to be a little bit careful. There we go. Get back on the edge. And, um... They could have made that a little bit better, just for the people that want to be a little bit more careful with it. But okay, so there's there's some prizes in here. Let me let me get it so you guys can see. So here's these little like little pocket areas, and so I'm already getting the surprises coming off. Oops, this one's stuck in there. So this, uh, so this one is it's going to be the keychain that came off. Um, so some of these surprises aren't staying where they're supposed to. So you just go around in a circle. Oops, this one didn't stay on either. So the problem with this one um, is that the, the surprises are not taped very well to the outside of this box. Okay, so. Alright, so we have all the surprises on this little thing here and it's kind of hard to let me see if I can move my camera down so you guys can see so you can see all the surprises that are lined up here this one um, would be the shirt I think and this one's gonna be this one that fell off way back over here is gonna be the keychain all right so I'm gonna move these off to the side for a minute and we'll do those surprises later but we are going to see which which one of these uh, unicorns that I got. Now from experience with the last box, um, I kind of got that you kind of just have to pull it apart, I'm thinking. <laughs> Oops, there we go. Okay, so it's already popped open. Okay, and so, oh good, it is the pink one. So, um, the pink one is Oopsie Starlight. I got the one that I wanted. Yay. Okay. Um, okay, so the little handle came off. And I don't know what that does. Oh, that's probably the poop button. Oops. <laughs> okay. So um, now I've got to try to figure out how to get this little thing. Okay. So I'm going to take this out of here, and I'm going to set the box aside. And it is a cute it is a cute little unicorn. It really is a cute one. <laughs> Even though I don't collect these, it is a cute little unicorn. So I'm going to pull out these other little things first. Just so it makes it easier for me to get to the, um, to the unicorn. I do not know what the heck that is. What is that? I'm pretty sure it's going to tell me. And then here's the little um, unicorn uh, scoop and spoon for the, um, probably for the slime that turns into poop. <laughs> and here's a little cup up here. Um, I don't know what this is. 
So I'm going to read. I, I found out um, from the other one, uh, from the Rainbow Surprise um, doll, when I was um, cleaning up the trash after that video, um, I noticed that there was a list of things um, that is included on the very, very bottom of the... Um, of the box so um, maybe I can find out what this little thing is in a little bit I'll look at that all right so now I'm just going to start cutting these little things because it's easier to do with the scissors it's a lot easier to do with the scissors than um, that exacto blade that I had on the last video okay one more left here These dolls are rather large, so I don't I don't know how I'm really going to display them um, because my doll room here is not very big. So I don't know if I will probably just keep them in their boxes or I don't I'm not too sure what I'm going to do yet because I really I mean um, don't really have a, a shelf that I could put it on. So I'll have to see. So this one's going to be a little bit on the difficult side. I'm going to have to try to cut that without cutting the hair. Let's see if I can do that. There we go. And then on this side as well. Let's see if I can push this thing through here. I have to say that these dolls, um, Poopsie, um, the company Poopsie is, it's, they're actually, um, they're not hard to unpackage their dolls. And I was going to mention this when I was doing the Rainbow Surprise doll, but I was kind of excited to get her out of the box. So I do want to say that, you know, a lot of um, doll companies really, they make it really tough to get into the, um, into the doll. Like so many different little things that you have to um, uh, cut and... So it makes it it just makes it difficult to get to the doll. It's not like it's a toy. It's like uh, something that's <laughs> it's really difficult. Anyway, so these are much easier to get into. Very little um, work to try to get into and get the doll out. Uh, let's see here. Let's see what this one's all about. She is actually really cute. <laughs> this is really really cute. So I'm gonna look at the back here. Oh, and it looks like this. Um, she's got some little um, tattoos as well, just like the doll on both of her little. I guess they would be considered like little hooves. <laughs> and then let's take a peek back here. Um, I do not know what these mean yet. Probably in the instructions. Um, and this is probably when you open up those little dial things. That's probably oh, inside there. That's probably where you get to load the, um, the slime. And I don't know what this is for. I think maybe this might be the release on that. Let's see if that's what it is. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this little button up here, if you push this to the side, it lets you take out the, the cylinder that, that you put the slime in. So you put it in there, and then you can put the slot back in, keeping the hair out of the way, of course. And so then you just... There's like a little slot in the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that back here. This is where you fit that back into here. So you put the slime in there. This could be really messy, actually, <laughs> for a little kid. Okay. And then, and then you close this, which would be the lid, which is her butt. And there's the little. So that's a good indication of what you're supposed to do. Then once this is loaded, you push the button and... Out comes the slime. And then I don't know what you do to to reset all of that. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the button. Is um so you open this and then you push this this way. That releases this and you pull this out, load it with slime. And then you stick it back in, push that in, and she's ready to go. Okay, so now we know how the unicorn works. So her name is Oopsie Starlight, and she's very cute. She's very cute. So uh, really huge, huge eyes. Um, it's kind of strange. It, it makes me think that you can 
feed her. Oh, let me look at that because that's interesting. Um, she's a little bit top heavy. She doesn't want to sit. Um, oh, I guess, yeah, she does. You can lean her a little bit. So her legs do move. Oh, she actually can stand this way too. I didn't know that. Okay. So, um, she can stand and then you can sit her. Okay. That makes sense. And then this is like a little, a little chair for her to sit in as well. Maybe this is a potty. <laughs> this looks like it could be a potty. That's interesting. Okay. But I do want to see if you can feed her real quick. I just want to look and see real, real quick. Mm. So if we should rotate the dial on the newborn's back to the feeding position until, oh, okay. So you can feed her. That's what the dial is on the back. So it's the feeding position. So let's look at this dial again. And I thought that was to push that out, but it's not. You actually feed her and it, okay. All right, so when you push this over here, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see if I can get that close. This is the, this is the spoon and you feed her. So you have to make sure that it's all the way over here. And then, then it says, until it clicks into place. So you keep pushing this until it clicks into place. And then, I'm gonna turn the page here. And then you do, you feed her. Insert the spoon fully into the unicorn's mouth and press it against the back of its throat to feed it. Okay, I'm gonna try it without, um, of course I don't have any slime. And I probably shouldn't try this now, but I want, I'm really curious about this. I don't know what it's supposed to do. Oh, oh, I get it. So when you push it into the mouth and you can feel it, if you put your finger on the back of its neck, you can feel that this thing is starting to move. So um, every time you put slime on the spoon and you give it to, uh, and you put it in the back, this will actually fill it up. And then when it's full, it will stop. But I'm gonna read to make sure that that's the case. So, uh, yep, that's what it looks like. Fill the measuring cup. Okay, so yeah, you do feed you do feed this unicorn. Okay, so what I'll probably do is I'm gonna do a another video on the feeding of this unicorn. So because I think that that's really interesting. There's a lot of um, baby dolls out there that you feed, and um, you know you have to change their diaper and all that. So I will be doing another video on that. So I'm gonna save the instructions. And we're gonna look at the rest of the surprises because that's really what this video is about is um, um, opening the doll. Okay, so we've looked at the unicorn And her name is Oopsie Starlight. So now we're gonna see what her surprises are So Oopsie I learned this from the last video that Oopsie is actually she's one of the surprises then we have this little cup and the feeding spoon I do not know what this is yet Anybody knows what this is? Hmm I don't know, I'll have to read and see, but that's gonna be one of the surprises too. Um, this is, I think this is, <laughs> I think this is like a little toilet. <laughs> Not too sure, but it could be. Um, since she can sit on there, it kind of looks like that. I'm pretty sure, but we will leave that for the next video, but that's gotta be one of the surprises. So, um, so now we're gonna start on this long, we're gonna start with, um, so, um, let me see if I can get this over here so you guys can see. Some of the surprises are falling off. So, I'm going to work on these surprises over here. This one fell off. This one is going to be the shirt. So, that's what we're going to open first is the shirt. And I got scissors this time. Makes it much, much easier. All right. So, <laughs> this is really cute. Don't stop believing. Hey, isn't that a journey song? Yeah, it is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on her. That's pretty cute. All right. Here we go. Make sure we got the right light. Okay. So that's the shirt. I'm going to start piling my trash over here. 
so that it doesn't get in the way. Um, the next thing is going to be, I'm going to do some of these off. I'm going to do the bottle. So this should be the bottle. Now the bottle and the other one was a, um, like a water bottle, I think, for the doll itself. So I don't know what this one is going to be. If it's going to be kind of like a regular bottle. I don't know. It looks, it looks like a water bottle. Like the other one. It's, um. I don't know if this is, I don't know what these are for. <laughs> if anybody knows what these are for, please leave it in the comments for me. I mean, it says that it's a water bottle, but I don't know. Is it for that? Is it for the unicorn? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, so that's the water bottle. And so the next thing I'm going to do is the other one that fell off was the, this is the keychain. Now, just to let you guys know, I don't know if these are the same in every single one. So, um, I would imagine since you get a different unicorn, do we get different surprises or different looking surprises in each one? So, this is probably not what you would get in every single in every single one. So, this is the keychain. It is a rainbow poop keychain. Okay. <laughs> that is so funny. So, I don't know if this is... Uh, like a keychain for uh, the little kid to play with or what. So anyway, so it's a little keychain. Alrighty. So the next thing I'm gonna do is the brush. Can I get it open here? Oh, that's a cute brush. So it's like a little cloud, a little cloud brush so you can brush your hair. Kind of uh, interesting. Her hair is, um, oops. <laughs> um, it, it's kind of silky, but it's kind of messed up in a way too. It's kind of like a, it didn't get put in the, um, the little plastic thing right. Either that or I pulled her out wrong. Okay, so that's the brush. It's a little cloud brush. It's very cute. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is the this is its unicorn magic. So it's probably got something to do with the slime, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, so unicorn magic. So it, it might be the uh, sparkle, or what you add to it to make it sparkle. And I learned in the last, um, with the last doll, the Rainbow Surprise doll, that these count as individual. So this would be three. And so since you have 20 plus surprises, that would be three of the surprises. And the next thing, this is the diaper. All right, the diaper. Oh, and it looks like they have these little things there. I could have been using those all along, but it's just as easy to use as to use. So, all right, so this is the diaper. And these are all kind of like um, uh, really, I don't know what this would, this is plastic, but it's really soft plastic. Kind of like Polly Pocket. Okay, so I don't know. I guess this is the front and this is the back. So we're gonna put that on her. <laughs> this is very funny. <laughs> okay. She's got a big booty. <laughs> okay, and I just push it into place. And I wouldn't suspect that you could probably do the pooping function with the diaper on because they fit really, really tight. So um, when you're doing the slime and pushing the button, you would have to remove the diapers. And I'm going to check right now to see if she can sit in the diaper. I don't know. It's kind of tight. So I don't. I don't think she can. I don't think she can sit in this diaper. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna push it because I don't want to break her. But it doesn't look like she can. I don't know. A little kid would probably make her sit. So I'm gonna try to make her sit. Yeah, she doesn't really want to sit with uh, the diaper on. Okay. So we're gonna lean her. Well, maybe. Okay. <laughs> okay. So then the next surprise is the. This is the unicorn food. Okay. 
and these out. Unicorn food. Okay, so it says unicorn, unicorn food. Okay, and so there's four of those. So those count as individual. So between those three, um, between the unicorn magic and the unicorn food, you have seven. Seven surprises. And the last thing is the, what is this? Oh, the unicorn shimmer. So this is probably what you add to the slime. Or poop. I really don't want to call it poop, but. <laughs> so here it is, the unicorn shimmer. So that's gotta be the sparkle. The sparkle for the slime. And there's three of those. So then you have 10, just between the unicorn magic, the unicorn shimmer, and then the unicorn food. So there's 10, 11 for the keychain, 12 for the water bottle, 13, 14, 15, 16 for whatever this is, <laughs> uh, 17 for the shirt, 18 for the diaper, 19 for the doll, and 20 for the toilet. Or, yeah, it's the toilet. Okay, so we know we got all 20 surprises. And it said 20 plus surprises, so I don't know what the, what the plus is supposed to mean. So this is Oopsie Starlight. And it did say, trying to see how many surprises, 20 plus magic surprises. So I don't know what the plus is supposed to mean because I do only see 20. So, well, maybe it's the, um, maybe it's the surprise of when you add the sparkle to the, the slime. <laughs> so this is Oopsie Starlight and all of her surprises. And as you can see now, um, I want to show you the box before I put her away. So the back of the box, it actually has a piece of pizza on there. It has some stars. It has, of course, some slime on the top. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then on the back is, um, it's like a little cloud with slime coming off of it and little stars. Actually, this one is, it's cute, but it's not as cute as the doll one. The doll one actually is really, really cute. So, okay, so this is Oopsie Starlight. If you like Oopsie Starlight, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.